This one. <laughs> Can I ask you questions? Yeah, oh, yeah, you ask me questions. What was it growing up with me? What was it like growing up with me? Uh oh. Uh oh. Here, take, take the mic. Okay, take the mic. <laughs> He was the sweetest, most adorable, wonderful little child ever. I was just kidding. No, he grew up to be the most magnificent man. Next to my husband, he is the kindest, sweetest, most wonderful person that I know. So, so when Gina would ask me over the years to do things for him, I would always say, oh, "Okay, what, what do you want me to do?" And then he would tell me, and it was things that it's okay. I would be happy to to do this for you. This is great. Uh, but when it came to me with, with this, with Enforce, I went, you know, I don't know, there are all these products on the market that say it can do this, it can do that, and you have to be careful, you don't want to be sued, you have to be careful with what you say, and if I'm going to do this, I need to do some research, because it's always been my philosophy that I've never, ever, in my whole life, wanted to be a gun for hire. I wanted to, if I'm going to talk about something, or if I'm going to endorse something, I have to make sure the words that are coming out of my mouth are coming out of my heart because I think Amen. people can really pick up on whether or not you have a passion and you believe in what you're doing unless you truly, truly believe in the product or what it is that you're, you're trying to, uh, trying to um, endorse. So I'll keep this really short. Gino came to me and said, I want, here, here's all the data. He comes to my house and brings me a box. <laughs> With all this medical stuff. I'm like, what are these words? What, did it, what does this mean? What is this? So we had, it was so much stuff and I had to break it down. There were things from Sloan Kettering and Harvard Medical and uh, M. 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 Anderson. And, did I say that? Yeah, okay. Um, did I say it twice? I don't know. But anyway, uh, I read it, I, I, I looked up the Coriolis Versicolor Mushroom, I wanted to know what it did, where it grows, how it works, I wanted to see the studies, I met with everybody uh, that Gina was involved with on this, in this product, I talked, I, uh, talked to my husband about it, and I really, really did the research on it, and I said, okay, now that I've done it, give me the product, I want to try it. So I, I took it for about four months, I, I feel fine all the time. I'm, I'm very healthy, thank you God. But I actually felt better. I haven't, I haven't been sick all year long. I wake up in the morning. I, I, I just, I, somebody asked me uh, earlier, what does it feel like? And I can't, because I'm a healthy woman just to begin with, I can't tell you, I can just feel it. It's hard to describe. I just feel it. But I did give it to a friend of ours who suffers greatly from asthma and, um, and um, allergies. Really, really sick young man. He walks around with an inhaler. He's been on it for about six months and he calls me his shroom dealer. <laughs> <laughs> so he calls me and he says, you know, I need some more of this stuff. Uh, I have to <laughs> like that, huh? Okay, so she's okay. Call me, call me. Uh, I can hook you up. Okay. Uh, so I have to tell you, it's made a profound difference in his life. He's no longer scratching. His allergies are much better. He doesn't walk around with an inhaler. I'm not making any claims here, but I have to tell you, this is one sick young man. And he does not want to live without taking his mushrooms. So that's all I wanted to say to you. I'm really, but anyway, I'm very proud to be representing this product. So I thank all of you. And I love you, Gina. So thank you.